If you could, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, leave a bell, F me. Hey, what's up, Movie Maniacs? I'm Zach. And I'm Matt. And this is the previews, everybody's favorite part of the movie. So this week, we decided to go check out Escape Room. Yes, we did. And... It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I do enjoy the occasional escape room. I'm pretty great at them, if I do we're, say so myself. We are, uh, what, three of three or two? Yeah, we're, I think we're three of three. Three of three, yeah. It's a very, very average movie. Yeah, it's very vanilla. Very vanilla. There wasn't many wow factors at all. Yeah. Like, I mean, it held my attention. It did. Acting was okay. A lot of jokes fell very flat. Yes. Very flat. But I really, like, it... <laughs> <laughs> That's really all I could say about it. For a typical January movie, we're really thinking like bottom of the barrel crap, mm -hmm. right? But this particular one, like we said, it was very vanilla. It kept our attention. It didn't do anything great. It didn't do anything terrible either. Now, we wish we could, I guess, get into spoilers. We're not going to do that. The ending sucked. But <laughs> other than the ending, everything else was fine. I mean, I also just wish that the trailer didn't show a lot of this stuff because the trailer showed a lot. Like yeah. I knew when which the, trap was coming which up. Which trap and who was gonna get trapped in it and who's gonna make it to the next room. That's what I wish really didn't happen because I kind of knew I had a general idea of who was gonna die or yeah. whatever. No, it was it was very yeah, it was very average and I uh, I held my attention. I uh, yeah, like you said pleasantly surprised went in with very low expectations. Yeah. But wasn't bad. If you, I wouldn't recommend going to see this movie in the theaters, to be honest. I would probably say... Netflix, stuff yeah, Netflix movie. Yeah, Netflix, hey, it's a good Netflix movie. And if you're not really into horror movies, this wasn't a scary movie either. There was really no jump scares. There's no, like, murder plot going on. It's just a, it's a thriller. So mm -hmm. if you're not the biggest horror movie fan, but hey, you like to go see something thrilling, I would say this, you know, fills your need. Especially if you're like, oh, I want to go see a movie it's just because the weather has been the greatest mm -hmm. i would i would recommend it it was just all right like mm -hmm. there was nothing like i said terribly bad about it the acting was fine i thought the traps themselves were very original they were like i said they i wish we were. didn't see them in the trailer because mm -hmm. the you know particular the upside down room yeah is what i really liked and even though the you, camera shots in that scene were really cool they did a lot of unique camera tricks during that scene in particular but like i said everything else was just very plain jane but if you're looking to go see a movie just to go see one and you, you gotta go I, I don't think you could really go wrong here. Overall, what'd you what'd you think? I'm gonna give it two and a half bad acid trips out of five. I think you hit the nail on the head there. I'm also gonna give it two and a half, but I'm gonna give it two and a half red nosed reindeers out of five. So that is our review of the escape room. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, also hit that bell icon so you get notified of every video that we upload. We will see you next time on the previews. Yeah.